Where is the rapture of the church in the book of Revelation? Hypothesis An explicit mention of the rapture in Revelation chapter 14 definitively settles when the rapture will happen in relation to other events of the end times. Six events in the preceding context. The seventh and final trumpet has sounded. The celestial signs of the virgin and of the dragon have appeared. Satan has been thrown down to earth. The beast and its false prophet have seized political power. Three angels have announced to the world the eternal gospel, the fall of Babylon, and a warning of damnation. A voice from heaven has promised a reward to those who die with faith in Jesus. The Rapture Text in Revelation 14, 14 through 16. I looked, and behold, a white cloud, and seated on the cloud one like a son of man, with a golden crown on his head, and a sharp sickle in his hand. This is a picture of Jesus Christ come to rapture his followers. The prophet Daniel had described the coming of the Messiah in this way. I saw in the night visions, and behold, with the clouds of heaven there came one like a son of man, and to him was given dominion and glory and a kingdom. Thus Jesus had spoken of his second coming, Then will appear in the heaven the sign of the Son of Man. They will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And again, You will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of power and coming on the clouds of heaven. Next, an angel comes from the Father in heaven to inform the Son that the time has come. Revelation 14, 15 And another angel came out of the temple, calling with a loud voice to him who sat on the cloud, Put in your sickle and reap, for the hour to reap has come, for the harvest of the earth is fully ripe. Jesus had said, Concerning that day and hour no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, nor the Son, but the Father only. Therefore you also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour that you do not expect. And elsewhere, the one who sows the good seed is the Son of Man, the field is the world, and the good seed is the sons of the kingdom. The harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are angels. Thus Jesus keeps his promise to raise his followers back to life. Revelation 14:16. So he who sat on the cloud swung his sickle across the earth, and the earth was reaped. The Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so we will always be with the Lord. In the following context of chapters 14 through 16, angels gather the wicked to suffer the seven bowls of God's wrath. Conclusion True followers of Jesus will be resurrected and removed from the earth before God pours out his wrath upon the nations. True followers of Jesus will experience many of the events of the end times leading up to Jesus' return through the clouds.